Thank you. Uh, if I could, anyone with a cell phone, please turn the cell phone off or put it on vibrate. And anyone that has a hat or any kind of uh, gear on the head, please remove it for the, for the duration of the council meeting. Clerk will call the roll. Councilor Anderson. Yeah. Lucci. Here. Christensen. Here. Condon. Here. DePietro. Here. Fallon. Here. Kinnon. Here. Murphy. Here. Nestor. Here. Spadafora. Here. Lucy. Here. First order of business. The minutes of the meeting of July 13, 2011. On Council Christian's motion to approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Minutes are approved. Next order of business. The petition of Mass Electric Company doing business as National Grid of North Andover to construct underground conduits, including necessary and sustaining fixtures along Eastern Ave. A hearing is required. Uh, this is a, a public hearing. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of the petition, please step forward and state your name and address. Seeing none, anyone wishing to speak against the proposal? Seeing none. Mr. President, since there's no one here from National Grid, um, I would make a motion that we would table this, please. Okay, everyone understands Council Connor's motion. There's no one from National Grid that's speaking for, for, for the petition, so the motion is to table until someone from National Grid can come forward. Hopefully we'll get it. Yes, Council DePietro. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, before we do table it, I would like to uh, um, um, bring up the point of uh, the double poll situation here. Uh, it seems to be uh, they were doing well for a while, and uh, I, I just see them cropping up all over the place. I, I know in my neighborhood, there's right on my street, there's two additional ones, and they didn't take down uh, one of the ones that were already there. So um, I would uh, uh, like to add that to the agenda. When they come in before us, maybe we can have a representative uh, speak to uh, the double poll situation again and uh, when they might be uh, remedying. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. you, Council Peter. There's a motion on the table right now to, on, the, on the floor to table the motion. Uh, we'll take that one up first, and then we, uh, when the, the person from National Grid comes, we can always take the double polls because I have those same issues in, around my house, too. Okay. So the motion is to table, table the uh, petition. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Papers table. Next order of business. The petition of Mass Electric doing business as National Grid of North Andover for permission to install approximately 465 feet of five-inch conduit in Commercial Street from existing manhole A 666 to the Medford City line. A hearing is required. Okay, again, anyone wishing to speak in favor of the petition? Come forward. Seeing no one, and anyone in, in against the petition? Seeing no one again. Mr. President, once again, well, there's no representative from National Grid here. I would move that we would table this, please. Okay, any questions for Council Condon? Seeing no lights, the same stands on Council Connor's motion to table until the representative from National Grid can appear before the Council. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Petitions table. The joint petition of Mass Electric and Verizon for permission to install approximately 180 feet of four-inch conduit from existing manhole 97 on Salem Street to existing pole 2296 on Cross Street and to erect and maintain one jointly owned pole, pole and wires together with sustaining and protecting fixtures on Cross Street. Ward 5, a hearing is required. Declare that, that part of the hearing open. Anyone that wishes to speak, speak in favor of the petition, come forward, state your name and address. See no one, anyone opposed to the petition, the same. Come forward, speak, state your name and address. See no, no one coming forward. Mr. President, once again, no representative from National Grid. I think we should table this until somebody does appear from National Grid. 
Thank you, Council Connor. On Council Connor's motion to table. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Council Spadafora. Also add, uh, it says Verizon. I think we should have Verizon into the same time as Mass Electric, because it says it says national. Because that way, I we can rectify the double pull remedy that night, because they don't blame each other. So okay. I just will make a note to have them both in. Thank okay. you, Mr. President. Thank you, thank you, Council Spadafora. <coughs> Council Murphy. Um, just as a point, a question, I guess. Um, does Comcast also have lines on those poles? No. I think they do. So I, I think we need, probably need to have everyone in who has um, any type of apparatus on those poles. Okay. Fair enough, Council Murphy. We can't get one to come. Maybe we can get all three. Um, but we'll, we'll make note of that. Dick's order of business. Application for license to drive a taxi cab, William Harkins, 5 Kilby Street, Wilburn, Robert DePredo, 73 Cleveland Street, Malden, Joseph Gautreau, 57 Lynn Street, Melrose, John Stelmack, 10 Tremont Street, Malden, Amanda Hill, 87 Valley Street, Malden. Refer to license. On Council Anderson, motion refer to license. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> refer to license. Next order of business. Application for renewal of self-service gasoline station permits, Wash Depot Incorporated, 333 Eastern Ave, Hess 214 to 221 Broadway. Refer to license. On council and this motion refer to license. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Petitions referred to license. <clears throat> Next order of business. Be hereby ordained that the revised ordinances of 1991 as amended be further amended regarding nuisances affecting public health. Councilor Bucci. Um, move to ordinance, please. And Councilor Bucci's motion refer to ordinance. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Papers referred to ordinance. Next order of business. Ordered that the Public Property Committee meet with the city solicitor to draft a lease agreement between the city and Gary Inc. doing business as Robinson's news agency for the use by Gary Inc. of approximately 900 square feet of city-owned property adjacent to 1556 Eastern Ave in exchange for installation and maintenance of certain landscaping on adjacent city-owned property. Councilor Bucci. Councilor Bucci for the paper. Um, would like that to go to public property for discussion. Okay, and Council Bucci's motion to refer to public properties. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Papers referred to public property. Next order of business. This is out of order. Okay, no, I get it. It's out of order. Resolved is the sense of the City Council that the Department of Public Works install a guardrail on Belleville Street at the intersection of Eastern Ave. Councilor Bucci. Um, wish that that would go to the Traffic Commission. This is in regards to the um, um, accident that occurred on that area uh, about a month or so ago, but it's long overdue. Um, and certainly I hope I can accelerate it, um, which, which is also the wishes of that family. Traffic Commission, please. Okay, on Council Bucci's <laughs> motion to pass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Resolve passes. Next order of business. Resolved that as the Census City Council, the representatives of the Department of Conservation and Recreation appear before the City Council in two weeks to address issues relative to health hazards created by the conditions at Townline Brook. Council Bucci. Council Bucci for the paper. Thank you. Um, as we know, the uh, DCR does manage, uh, has an obligation to manage um, our culverts or otherwise known as the Townline Brook. Um, but I'd like to see if uh, these folks could come in and discuss with us what their pest uh, control management um, is or is designed to be um, in place so that we could uh, um, review uh, the lack of effort that has been applied to that area. Um, as it's playing out as uh, uh, one of the variables in the um, ongoing um, issues down in Linden related to pest control. Um, so I'd like to have that body of folks come in and have them review what they're uh, obligated to do here for the municipality. Okay, any questions, Council Bucci? Seeing no lights on Council, Council Bucci's motion to pass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Paper passes. 
Resolve that as the sense of the City Council that the Traffic Commission install crosswalks at the intersection of Bowden and Willow Streets adjacent to the ball field. Councilor Anderson. Councilor Anderson for the paper. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we're in need of a couple of crosswalks at the uh, intersection of Bowden and Willow Street. Uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous area that uh, there's a lot of uh, pedestrian uh, crossing that Road, those roadways heading into the ball field with Little League being played there and a lot of traffic. And we'd just like to have the Traffic Commission consider putting in crosswalks there. So I'd ask uh, the council support in referring this resolve to the Traffic Commission. Thank you, Councilor Anderson. Any questions for Councilor Anderson? Seeing no lights on Councilor Anderson's motion to pass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next order of business. Resolved that it is the sense of the City Council that the Traffic Commission designate a handicapped parking space at 25 Vernon Street. Councilman Nestor. Councilman Nestor for the paper. Just like to refer to traffic, please. Okay, and Councilman Nestor's motion is referred to traffic. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Papers referred to traffic. Next order of business. Resolved that it is the sense of the City Council that the Traffic Commission designate a handicapped parking space at 48 Presley Street. Councilor Condon. Refer to traffic, please. On Council Connor's motion to refer to traffic. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion to refer to traffic. Next order of business. Resolved that it is the Census City Council that representatives of the Malden Fire Department Union Local 902 appear before the City Council on September 20th to discuss issues relating to public safety in the community. Councilor Fallon. Councilor Fallon for the paper. Yes, thank you. Um, Again, the union had asked me to sponsor them. They actually wanted to be here back in June to talk about different public safety concerns and appeal to the council body for some support. So we had the prior union members here um, last financial season, um, and they've asked me to sponsor them again, and I'm sponsoring them to come up here for the 20th. Okay, council Fallon. Any questions for Council Fallon? Well, council Fallon's motion to pass. All in favor? Council Connor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have to be honest with you. Uh, I got a little bit of a problem the way this paper is written because if we're going to talk uh, about public safety issues with the fire department, protocol would be to have the chief and deputies commissioner in, as we would if we were talking about a public school system. You certainly would have the superintendent in. If you're talking about DPW issues, you have the director in. I don't have a problem supporting it. I do in this form, because I don't think there's any reason why we should be bypassing, say, the chief and the deputies and the commissioner, because that's who should come before us. They're the people that make the decisions on public safety in the fire department. They're the people that should have to answer before us. So unless the paper, I can't support it the way it is. But if it's in another form and have the proper people before us, then I could. Thank you, Council Conn. Uh, Councilor Fallon. Yes, thank you. And I can appreciate what you're saying, Councilor. Um, we've had, we have an opportunity um, as counselors to um, sponsor people who would like to come up before this body and raise concerns. So whether that's an individual from our community being a, a citizen from our community or a group from our community, um, I'm happy to sponsor anyone who wants to come up and address any concern, public safety or otherwise, with the council body. So again, we have an opportunity and I consider it an obligation to um, when someone comes to me and asks me to sponsor them, that, um, you know, I'm going to carry that out. And actually, while, while we're on this subject, Madam Clerk, I want to let you know partly why this is happening is um, because uh, we had an item docketed last term that's gone by the wayside. I want to put it back on the docket, and I'll, I'll talk with you, Madam Clerk, about docketing that for one of the upcoming meetings where um, we had an initiative um, uh, and several people over the years have had the same initiative to allow for um, we can stick comments, to this. Yeah, we need to stick to that. 
Well, we, we need you know, to stick to I've, what's on I've the docket. Putting this out to you. Okay, but we need you to know. stick to what's on the docket tonight. Mm -hmm. Right now, the, the paper before us is to let this, the uh, Walden Fire Department yes. Union come before us. So they've asked me to sponsor them. I'm sponsoring them to okay. appear. It's up to my colleagues to agree or not agree. So. Okay. Thank you, Council Palin. Council Kennedy. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I, I would just wonder why uh, this wouldn't go to public safety uh, for a hearing first. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Council Kinnon. Councilor Anderson. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, um, I would just offer an uh, alternative to the resolve to, uh, to I don't have a problem having the, the union here, but I think we ought to be inviting the fire chief here. So maybe the sponsor of this resolve could change the resolve that the Census City Council that the fire chief and representatives of the fire union appear before the council on such and such a date. I think that would uh, would satisfy the the issues of having the chief, the, the, the duly elected uh, administrator, uh, as well as the unions here to discuss the issues of public safety on that date, and I could certainly support that. Thank you, Councilor Anderson. Councilor Christensen. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, just two questions to the uh, sponsor. I was wondering if it would be possible to just shed some light on you know, some of the potential topics that uh, we'll, we'll be going over that evening, just so I think you know, the body has a chance to do whatever preparation they want to do for it. And then the second, I just wanted to know how this uh, differs from uh, the meeting we held, I think it was in June, when um, I think it was Deputy Walsh appeared before us to talk about some of the issues relative to the budget, staffing, et cetera. So I was wondering if the sponsor could answer those two questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Thanks, Council Christensen. Council Palin. Thank you. Uh, I don't believe they're coming up here to talk about any budgetary matters at all. They're coming up here because they mentioned that they have some public safety concerns. I don't want to speak for them. Right. Um, as I said, any individual who's asking me to, um, who, who wants to be invited to address public safety concerns or what have you, um, I feel an obligation to allow for that comment and sponsor people coming up here. Um, so we have that opportunity as a council because we don't have the open comment forum, which I think we should have to sponsor people who want to bring concerns before the body and ask for our support and do it directly, so. Okay, thank you, Council Fallon. Council DiPietro. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, I have really no problem with the paper other than uh, I think that it should be uh, modified uh, for the reasons that uh, I believe Council Kinnon is right. I think it should go in front of the Public Safety Committee uh, first and uh, to uh, uh, be discussed there first and then be brought out to the uh, the rest of us here. I also agree with uh, Councillor uh, Anderson uh, that um, uh, the Commissioner, uh, the Deputy uh, Chiefs and most importantly the uh, the uh, fire chief uh, be there uh, at the meeting. And uh, I think Councilor Condon is right uh, as well. So I'd be able to support the paper with those amendments, but not like, like this. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor DePietro. I'll turn it over to Councilor Fallon if she's willing to modify the paper or change the paper in any way. Actually, thank you. Anticipating that this would happen. Um, the uh, union has mentioned that they'd be happy to come up before the Public Safety Committee. They, they would prefer, of course, to address the entire council body. Again, as we have the opportunity to sponsor them, uh, so I'm happy to have it go to the Public Safety Committee. And, and let's, you know, see what we need to bring out to the council after that. Okay, thank you, Council Fallon. We have the amendments, the motion okay. has changed. Um, he didn't ask me to sponsor him. It's the union that asked me to sponsor him. So I, you know, I'm not. I personally am not adverse to inviting the chief up. I think that we, we I'm happy to extend an invitation if, to invite him as well. But uh, I, I'm expecting that the union's going to have the same public safety issues that he would have. So I have no problem if we invite him as well. 
we'll, we'll include the chief in that, Madam Clerk. That the command staff be invited along with the union. The papers are amended. Okay. And then the is amended. Okay. We need to vote on amendment. Does, every, does everyone know what the uh, the paper, how the paper now reads? That the uh, the the, uh, the fire department union, along with the chief, is invited to come prepare before the public safety committee. Mm -hmm. Do I get that right, Council? Okay, everyone and understand? Commissioner. And Commissioner, right. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That would be the amendment now for the, uh, the, uh, the paper itself, uh, that the, uh, the Chief and the Commissioner, along with the Northern Fire Department Union, appear before the Public Safety Committee. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Paper carries. Thank you. The claim of Jennifer Kapal, 16 Gold Ave. On Council Nestor's motion to refer to finance. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Claims referred to finance. Next order of business. Docket is clear. Docket is clear. And, uh, personal privilege. If everyone has two months worth of uh, <laughs> things they want to share what they did on their summer vacation, we'll take it or anything coming up. Council Nestor. Thank you, Mr. President. Just wanted to thank the uh, DPW, Jeff Manship and Bobby Knox for uh, cleaning up Waits Mount this week and also the Middlesex Sheriff's Community Outreach Program. We had a fantastic turnout. We had over 150 people for movie night last week. Uh, everything went well. Everybody had a great time. So I just wanted to extend my uh, thanks to uh, the DBW, the Sheriff's Department, and also all the sponsors of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Nesta. 